Another little short video for any of you guys interested in doing cheap lifts on anything with a TTB. Uh, Craigslist is where it's at. I got a most of all the suspension parts on this thing for like two hundred dollars. There's so many old lifted TTBs that are being junked or changed to straight axles or whatnot. But pick up your a cheap six inch kit, dual shocks. Get invest in the adjustable upper ball joints, which are a little expensive, and a reamer, and flip your tire right into the top. It makes all the difference off road and on road too if you plan on driving and it steers so much better and doesn't break the lengths of the tire rods because it gets the angle back straight um always put new bushings in the in the uh pivots there because they fall out anyway and you're gonna tear them up pretty quick off-roading i don't like the urethane ones they restrict the movement and they make it kind of harsh i personally like rubber bushings you got to replace them more often but they give and giving is what keeps these things alive Rigid is not where it's at. Uh, remove the backing plates. Put new seals. The inner and outer seals where the shafts go through because those are basically mud portals that will destroy your wheel bearings instantly. And uh, the regular drop brackets and standard arms work good. This thing will travel until those chains stop it. And it'll go all the way up until the tires pretty much hit the fenders. It has excellent travel and you can jump it. You can't really do that with a straight axle without heavy modification because they have so much travel and really flex. It flex is good. I've had no issues with it off-road. It's not as strong, obviously, as a solid axle, but it works well and with proper maintenance and obviously keeping an eye on the bushings and joints and things like that. It'll go just as good as anything else as long as the vehicle's light and the tire size is, you know, within reason. I would say... 38s would be max. My brother ran one of these with 38 boggers and it tended to break the outer joints a good bit. So, you know, something a little less aggressive and probably a, a size smaller than that would be as big as I would want to go. But I've had no issues with this and I have beat the crap out of it. And, uh, and now I'm throwing a lot more power at it. So it's been great. Uh, just have to, you know, like anything else. The harder you beat it, the more you have to uh, maintain it, but it works good. And I have maybe three or four hundred dollars in the whole lift, so it's really inexpensive and works good. Much, you know, you're going to spend multiple thousands on a solid swap and have to change basically everything, unless you're going to rock crawl, which rock crawl in a full size is not real fun, I guess you would say anyway. There's really no point in it, but thanks for watching.